This program is proudly brought to you by the VAFA Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the VAFA in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store or Google Play now. I'm here at Trinity Sports Ground with the winning coach, Bernie Deneen. Bernie, what a game. You must be so proud. Yeah, Rap just uh, obviously has been a bit of pressure. Um, 0-4 coming in, so to get a clean sweep, both women's teams, Resi's 19s and seniors, um, yeah, the mood in there is a lot more fine faces and uh, it's just more relief than anything. So started well and um, able to close it out, so wrapped. Your best points of the game, what do you think they were? Where do you think you won the footy the most? Oh, look, I thought our contested ball and just our discipline, our structure, our ability to give back to quarterback, to guys who are on the move, um, use hit up forwards. If they weren't on, get it deep. I just thought we did the basics really well throughout that first quarter. Um, you know, obviously, credit to Kerry. They've come up a grade. Uh, they've got a few injuries, had a few guys missing today. Um, and, you know, they've probably met us when we've been that desperate. So um, I thought they really responded well in the second quarter. They were able to beat us in the spread on the outside and move the ball much better. But again, for us to then respond in the third and basically close the game out, um, just really pleasing and um, some great individual efforts too. Speaking of those individual efforts, I thought Thompson, Wood and Tinney are all outstanding today. Woody with about 20 touches and five goals. What are some of the... What do some of those performances really mean to you on a win like this? Yeah, look, Miss Woody last week, uh, unfortunately, is away from mate's wedding. I sort of put it on him. We needed him as a, such an experienced, quality player. He's got, you know, seven years VFL experience under his belt to step up for us. And he's really embraced the group over the last couple of weeks. I think more and more as he's coming down, more training. And for him to get those rewards today, get on the end of five. And probably if we used him in a couple of spots, one or two more. Um, Gaz has been great. You know, I asked him to step up on the back of watching the Swans last night and hearing, um, hearing Horse talk about how they're their leaders really stood up and set the tone physically and he did that for me today. Um, Berger was huge. You know, he's, he's becoming a really, really dominant player within the competition, I think, as he grows and develops and understands his own game. Still a few areas to clean up, but he's mobile. And I thought um, Anthony Larky was ex extremely, extremely good for us today. And, to say, Lark, so. and just covering White in the second half on that wing, like having that defensive responsibility and hurting him the other way, which we hadn't done in the second mm -hmm. quarter. I thought it was a really mature game from a you know, quality young kid there too. Ben, great win and uh, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Matty. Thanks, Russ. Cheers. Thanks, Matt. I'm joined here by Michael, uh, coach of Old Kerry. Uh, Michael, you started the second quarter on fire through everything, Adam, and really competitive in the third quarter as well. What do you, what do you reckon you can take out of that middle half of footy? I just, um, uh, again, coming up to A grade, that, that consistency of concentration. I think what you'll find is, yeah, we're really competitive for periods of the game, but just not long enough. So I think you get excited when you have a bad first quarter and you get back at, back into the game, into the second quarter, and then that laps, you, you know, it doesn't matter what side you're playing in A grade. If you lose concentration for 10 minutes, it makes it really hard to get back into the game, and that's what happened today. Um, and a couple of injury concerns, obviously Tyrone Bean out in the, the third quarter with yep. a hamstring, and I, I noticed I think Xander Adam towards yep. the end of the game, I on his calf so um, yeah what, what can you tell me about those I, two? I think Tyrone's yeah definitely done a hamstring I'm hoping that Xander's only done a corked calf so he was able to run around so we'll see how that goes so hopefully it's okay. Um, and then the, the last quarter Trinity player ran away with it a little bit do you reckon you can probably attribute that to the to being down on bench rotations or, or is it I guess the concentration that you mentioned before? Oh, I think it's a lots of things I, I thought the third quarter was the 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 one that really finished us off. I, I believe that, uh, yeah, if you, if you, as I said, when you're five or six goals down, you've got to find things to play for. So I wasn't as concerned in the last quarter because it could have easily been a six or seven goals to one last quarter. Yeah. So I suppose the positives out of that was we're still fighting it through rather than just giving up. That, that's you know, a constant thing that we have to remind the team to do. Um, and you had a couple of new faces today that haven't played in uh, in A grade yet. How do you how do you reckon they went today? Oh, terrific! Again, um, I think you know people will say it's hard to find positives. So I found a lot of positives today. Was uh, you know our seconds only lost by a goal, um, which that sounds really funny, but the seconds you know, three years ago would have lost by 200 points. So the positive for me were the seconds were were really competitive, which they have been. 
Hence, two boys came up today from the seconds for their first A-grade game and they would have been in our best player. So that's a really good sign for us that at least with some injuries, we can um, even it out a little bit on the field, which is very important. Awesome. So that's, that's all from us down here at Trinity, where Trinity have beaten Kerry by 44 points. Thank you. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.